the patchwork garden. Pedacitos de huerto. By por Diane de Anda. Illustrations by Ilustraciones de Oksana Kemarskaya. Abuela sat near the window, where she could see the tiny stitches she was making on the bright green square of cloth. She smiled, because it was the last square she needed to finish the patchwork quilt. Abuela liked to tell stories about when she was a little girl. Doña loved the stories she told. When I was a girl, my family lived where there was lots of empty land. I planted a vegetable garden on my own little square patch of land. I can still taste the fresh tomatoes I grew. They taste much sweeter than the ones you buy in the store, said Abuela. I wish I could have my very own vegetable garden, replied Doña, but there's nothing but cement around our apartment building. All you need is a little patch of land, and you can grow some tomatoes, spinach, and broccoli, or even squash and carrots, encouraged Abuela. Hmm, said Tonya. There's a little patch of dirt behind the church, but it's full of weeds. That's a good sign, said Abuela. That means the soil is soft enough for plants to grow once you take out all the weeds. The next morning, Doña and Abuela went to the church and talked to Father Anselmo. It sounds like a great idea, said Father Anselmo. There will be beautiful green plants instead of the dry, ugly weeds. And you can take all the vegetables you want, added Doña. Ah, said Father Anselmo, thinking of fresh salads and steamed vegetables. Beautiful and healthy. Later that afternoon, Doña, her big brother Carlos, and her father stood on the little square of dirt. Doña and Carlos pulled and yanked out weeds. They used small hand shovels called trowels to dig out the bigger ones. Then their father used his big shovel and dug into the dirt. We need to turn the soil and soften it up for planting, he said as he worked. They also added some fertilizer to the soil to help the seeds and plants grow. When they were done, they took big cans of water from their pickup truck and wet the soil down. After they finished, they picked up Abuela and drove to the garden store. Abuela helped Doña pick out packages of carrot, spinach, and squash seeds. Then they chose little containers with small sprouting broccoli plants and tiny green tomato plants. The lady at the cash register handed Doña cards on small sticks with pictures of the vegetables she had bought. This tells you all the vitamins you will get from the different plants in your garden, she explained with a smile. The next day, Abuela and Doña arrived at the little patch of dirt with plants and seeds and their watering cans. First, we put on our straw hats to protect us from the sun while we work, warned Abuela. Doña was so excited, she could barely tie the ribbon that helped keep the hat on her head. Now we dig the holes for the seeds and plants, said Abuela as she handed Doña a trowel. It was mine when I was a girl your age. It has planted so many seeds, it can almost do it by itself, laughed Abuela. For the zucchini squash and spinach, they dug small holes, only about an inch deep, 
they dropped in the seeds, then covered them over with the dirt they had taken out. Vines will grow with flowers on little stems that will turn into big green squash. Spinach will cover the ground with dark green leaves. Green vegetables are filled with vitamins, said Abuela. The carrots needed more work. Doña and Abuela had to loosen up the dirt so the carrots could grow long and deep. Carrots are roots. We need to make room for them to grow underground. Carrots keep our eyes healthy and help protect us from getting sick, explained Abuela. Finally, they took all the little tomato plants out of their small plastic pots, tickled the soil around the roots to loosen them up, and dug holes just the right size. Doña patted the soil around each plant with her hands until the dirt was nice and flat. Then she stuck the cards with the picture of a tomato and a silvery green flower of broccoli in front of the row of plants. Each card said vitamin C in big letters and listed more vitamins in smaller letters. When she was done, Abuela sprinkled the garden with her big green watering can. I know one more thing that needs a sprinkle, said Doña, stretching her arms and hands toward Abuela. They both laughed as Abuela poured out the last of the water and watched little rivers of mud roll down Doña's arms and through her fingers. Abuela walked Doña home each day after school right past their little patch of garden. And each day, they would sprinkle the thirsty plants with their watering cans and pull out any weeds that had sneaked in between their plants. In a few short weeks, the garden was green with lacy carrot tops in a row, vines of squash curling on the ground, and bushy green tomato plants. Wrinkled green spinach leaves lined the edge of the garden, and broccoli flowers bloomed. As the plants grew, more and more of the children and their parents, passing by on their way home from school, stopped to look and talk with Doña and Abuela about their garden. I wish we could have a garden, sighed many of the children. I wish we had a place for a garden, the parents sighed back. I feel sad, Abuela, said Doña one day. Why, mijita, don't you like working in the garden? Asked Abuela, wrinkling her forehead. Oh, no, I love the garden. It just makes me sad when other kids wish they had one, too. We'd need a big space for all the kids who would like to have a garden. Hmm, said Abuela. All we really need are little patches of land to make their wishes come true. Sonia's eyes got very wide. The sadness she had felt seemed to melt away, and she began to jump up and down. Over and over again, she crowed, I know where some are. I know where some are. It would be just like your patchwork quilt. All the little squares would make one big garden. The next few days were very busy for Doña and Abuela. First, Doña made a list of all the little patches of empty land she had noticed in the neighborhood. There were two at the park where flowers or bushes had dried up and had not been replaced. There were little patches of dirt in front of different stores she and Abuela passed on their way to school. Next, she asked Abuela to come with her to talk with the store owners. Think how beautiful it would be to have a garden right next to your store, Doña told them. Think how much easier it will be to keep your store clean without the empty spaces. No more customers carrying dirt into your store on their dusty shoes, added Abuela. Yes, said Mr. Sanchez, the owner of the shoe repair store. I'd love to have a garden here, said Miss Ruiz, 
pointing to the space in front of her beauty salon. It would be great to have a vegetable garden in front of the family clinic, said Dr. Martinez. Vegetables make you healthy, you know, she added with a wink. And because you eat them fresh from the garden, they have more vitamins than the ones in the store that have traveled so far from where they grew. The park director liked the idea so much that he put up a little wire fence around the two little gardens so no one would trample the plants when they played in the park. When she got home, Doña wrote the address of each garden patch on a card. At the top of each card, she wrote, The Patchwork Garden Club. Throughout the next week, Doña gave cards to all the children who sighed and wished they had a garden of their own. All they were asked to do was to bring some of their vegetables to the farmer's market in the park to share with others who did not get a piece of the patchwork garden. This way, everyone in the neighborhood will have a chance to have fresh vegetables to make healthy meals, Doña told each new member of the Patchwork Garden Club. Soon, all across the neighborhood, where there had been bare patches of dirt, little green sprouts began to break through the earth. In a few weeks, long squash lay hidden under green leafy vines that covered the ground. Bouquets of broccoli stood in a row, and a carpet of spinach leaves circled the garden. Red tomatoes hung like Christmas bulbs from dark green stalks. The delicate tops of carrots danced in the breeze. Then, all of a sudden, a sound like the softest hum filled the air for blocks and blocks. Mmm, said all the children standing in the patchwork garden squares across the neighborhood as they bit into the sweetest tomatoes they had ever tasted. <laughs>